In this lesson, we will learn to use the HTML editor. Before proceeding, remove text background color and text color added in the last lesson. In this lesson, we will use the buttons in the third row. The buttons in the third row are divided in four groups. The first group is called number, bullets and indents group. We can make list and give indentation to the text using buttons of this group. Now, let's apply bullets to the text. Select text and click unordered list icon. Similarly, by using the ordered list icon, we can make a number list. By using the highlighted buttons, we can indent or outend the text. Select the list and click the outend button to shift the text to the right side. Similarly, we can indent text by using this button. The next group is called link group. We can insert or remove the external links using buttons in this group. Select the linked word, everything. Notice that two buttons are highlighted in the link group. Click remove link icon to remove the link from the word. Now the link has been removed. Now select the word, universe. And click the insert edit link icon. In the link URL field, you have to insert the URL you want to add to the selected word. Insert the URL. And click insert to link the word to the URL. Notice the word universe is linked. You can also use the remove link icon to remove all links from the selected text. Next group is called as insert group. We can insert symbols, media, equations, etc. using buttons in this group. Place your cursor below the text area. And click the insert edit image icon. Click on find or upload an image. On the file picker, click upload a file. And click on browse. Select an image. And click open. And then click upload this file. Now click insert to insert the image in the text area. Read the message and add description if required. Click OK. We have inserted the image. Similarly we can add video by clicking the Moodle Media button. Scroll up in the text box. And place your cursor here. Click this icon to insert the non-breaking space characters. Notice the space introduced between the two words. Now place your cursor here. And click this button to insert special symbols in the text. Choose any character you want to insert. Scroll down. And click the insert table icon to insert a new table in the text area. Here, you can select the number of rows and column and other settings. Click insert to add the table. Scroll down. You can expand the column width by holding the table side and dragging it to the right. You can also enter text in table cells, as shown. Scroll up. Next group includes HTML source toggle and the spell checker buttons. Spell checker can be used for checking spellings using the active dictionary. And HTML source toggle can be used to switch to HTML mode, where we can directly insert HTML code. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.